sure leave ever. Will your new heavy armor keep you safe? I've watched reports on some of the things you're fighting. Well, we'll stop the reaper. I've recovered some tech from a library in Reaper-controlled space. I can have them waiting for you at Bay D24 if that would help. Really? Well, oh, damn. It couldn't hurt. Thank you. Maybe those techs will help the Asari remember how to fight again. The Alliance bringing medical supplies by the tunnel. I know a guy in customs. He's a Medicare. He's a Hey, Commander. I was just about to get us another round. So, looks like you two are having fun. Yes. Joker has been smiling and laughing at a significantly higher rate since he and I agreed upon a relationship. I mean, he is happier. It seemed like you two might make a good match. I was not so certain. When I first presented this body to Jeff, he seemed aloof. Really? What did Joker say? He said I didn't have to conform to some feminine ideal in order to impress him. I then called him on his bullshit, and we then proceeded to talk normally. After your encouragement, his attitude exhibited signs of change. He said he was reluctant, but you convinced him to go for it. Well, I might have helped a little. I see. Thank you for your support, Shepard. This is proving to be an illuminating experience. You just introduced me as your personal assistance mech. Yeah, well, it was the only way to get you inside. But you know I am not one. Why deceive others? You don't really want to introduce yourself as an AI with Reaper-based code. They would lynch you. That would be an inefficient way to render me non-functional. Docking Bay E-24, Emergency Civilian Housing. Are you okay? I've just been standing here, holding this for I don't know how long. He'll always be a part of me. Your past is yours. No one can take that away. Bye, Robert. You give me strength. Thank you. I just need a few moments to myself. State Arms. Your purchases are a credit to the hegemony. Pressure's okay. No infection so far. Can I talk to him? Only if it's important, Commander. He's hurt bad. Take down the sedative a bit, but hurry. I peg his survival at 50-50. Are you Gorek? <sighs> Go away. 
Not even what a terrorist is doing on the Citadel? You! Do I know you? <coughs> Every Batarian with someone on Eratok remembers your face. The planet that got caught in the Alpha Relay explosion. You butcher the colony. Only regret... <coughs> Don't have the strength to... I destroyed Eratot's relay to stop the Reapers from pouring through. Pah! Easy for you to claim now that they're here. Don't pretend you have any remorse. You think I didn't feel guilty? I destroyed a colony. I've thought about the people who died. About how I couldn't warn them in time. In the end, I didn't have a choice. But I'm sorry. If that means anything. <laughs> if you're so remorseful... <coughs> do you have any real guilt? Show some mercy. <laughs> Unplug this machine. Let me join my family. I'm done here. Good. He'll cough himself to death without a sedative. No! Wait! I... I... Oh. Just take it easy. There. James? Commander, what brings you down here? I was about to ask you that. Well, after our little chat... Ow! I made up my mind. I'm gonna join the N7 program. And you're celebrating by getting a tattoo? <laughs> sort of. See, there's no official channels to go through right now. So, I guess this is my way of making it official. Technically, I'm just an N7 recruit, but... You know, I figure with you as my training officer. How could I fail? Right? I'm flattered, but I wouldn't exactly say I'm training you. Not officially, but what the hell is in this goddamn war? I'm just saying, whether you like it or not, you're my direct superior, and you're N7. So I take my lead from you, and you know, I'll take whatever advice you got. Really? Sure. The good advice. Don't take this lightly, Vega. I'm not, and I won't. I know it seems like I don't take things seriously, but when I commit to something... I fully commit. Clearly. Hey, I won't let you down. The only person you need to prove yourself to is the one standing in the mirror every morning. Good point. You know, that's gonna sting for a few days. You gonna be ready for duty? Well, I'm not looking forward to slapping my armor back on, but I'm always ready. Glad to hear it. Ah! Careful! I recognize you. You're Commander Shepard. And you must be Tactus. Heard the refugees consider you their leader. Yes. Someone needs to sort out this mess. CSEC has tightened access to the Citadel, and we've got desperate people down here with no place to go. I also hear you need basic medical supplies. Dr. Shakwa spoke of a mutually beneficial trade. I tried to be clear. In my experience, the Alliance looks out for their own. Trust is a hard thing to come by these days. I know you need our military supplies, but they're worth far more than your basic meds. Her offer wasn't satisfactory. My mission is our only hope to turn back the Reapers. I need every edge I can get, and that includes your equipment. And the supplies I have to offer are just what your people need. Think this through, Tactus. Okay, okay, I see your point. I'll have my people contact yours. You'll have your supplies as soon as possible. Cerberus attempts to take control of the Citadel have failed, and CSEC forces have killed the last invading forces. After obtaining a cure to the genophage, 
Trojan leaders have announced an alliance with the Trojan military against the Reapers. Got any pets? You look like a Varad person. Assisted Commander Shepard in preventing Cerberus forces from killing the Council. Cerberus in an attempted coup against the Council. Heavy losses are mounting as human colonies Elysium, Tintree, and Zeus Hope are hit by Reaper forces. Spectre status recognized. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Hell of a view, isn't it? During our war, this place became a myth to my people. A dream glimpsed only in the memory shards. The Citadel was both the heart of our civilization and its demise. The Reapers hit here first, didn't they? No one I knew had ever seen the Citadel. To be here now, I don't know what to think. It might not seem like much, but a Prothean is standing on the Citadel, alive. That's a victory in itself. Perhaps. When things were at their darkest, we used to tell stories, imagining the wonders of this place. The seat of our empire. The power to sway worlds. The galaxy belonged to us. Nowadays, a lot of races have embassies here. It's true, then. You share power with the rest? It's not perfect, but it's kept the peace. Most of the time. Pardon me. This one has been listening. This one suspects you are a Prothean. I remember your kind when you were still minnows in the ocean. This one is unworthy. This one has seen the face of an enkindler. They consider your kind to be their gods. A pity we did not teach them to speak better. You're really a Prothean? I am. But... If you lost the last war, what hope do we have? For many. There may be no hope. The Reapers killed trillions in my cycle. The odds of being among the living are remote. If you are lucky, they will destroy you outright. You will avoid the fate of becoming a husk. If you cannot fight, do not let them capture you. Death is a better outcome. It's over. We'll never win this. Won't win any new recruits, but at least they know what they're in for. It is better to fight with your eyes open than your heart. Is that the Prothean way of war? It is the way of life. I will meet you back on the Normandy, Commander. Trogan leader Erdnot Rex stated that his support of the Turians proves that the Krogan are ready to return to the Reaper forces continue their assault on Asari space, claiming the Nimbus Cluster and the Selenian Nebula. Look, I filled out all the forms you requested and jumped through every hoop. I don't even know where Neota is. Uh, so many pieces to put back together since the Cerberus attack. We're reeling from the implications. Odina in league with Cerberus trying to murder the Council. These are dark days for all of us. Can this station be defended? The internal security breaches have been patched, but we're dangerously low on manpower. We're grilling our own people and trying to figure out if Udina acted alone, but it's time-consuming. All in all, we're still vulnerable, but I think we've taken the right steps. All that time you were working for Adina, did you ever suspect? Always rubbed me a little wrong. 
Still, that traitorous bastard upped me. Probably made me for an idiot. <laughs> I guess I proved him right. He's dead. And you're still here, Bailey. <laughs> Thanks to you. If you hadn't shown up, Odina and Cerberus would be dancing on my grave. Thought you'd be in the hospital. If I'm breathing, I'm working. Probably the worst I've ever been hurt. Fitting, I guess, given the state of the galaxy. But if Cerberus thinks a few slugs is gonna keep me out of action, they've got another thing coming. How does the Citadel fit into the war now? Uh, the war finally found us. This is so far beyond our imagination, and we have been trained to expect the unexpected. Since the coup attempt, folks are shutting down and shutting in. I hear a lot of praying. And crying. They're saying this is the war to end all wars. Well, I haven't seen anything to say they aren't right. You hear anything about your family out there? Not a peep. I always believed I'd get a chance to tell my ex-wife a few things. And my kids on Earth. I was supposed to visit them. First vacation in years, but I had to cancel when I got promoted. Don't give up hope, Bailey. Thanks, Shepard. I'm really trying not to think about it. I'll leave you to it, then. I'm here if you need me. I'm fine. I'm sorry. I wanted to see you in person. It's better this way. The Citadel is a mess right now. It sounds like it. I heard about the attempted coup. Yeah. With Kai Lang's help, Udina nearly seized control. Kai Lang? That slippery bastard's still alive? He's alive. And right in the middle of all this. That complicates things. I'll be on my guard. Look, I don't have much time. But I learned what happened to my sister. Where is she? I don't know that yet, but my father was definitely responsible. If he's done anything to her, I'll kill him. Miranda. Shepard, listen. I'm being hunted by Cerberus assassins. A lot of them. I need to stay out of sight. What? Why? I heard a rumor, maybe more, that my father is working on something for the elusive man. Something big. Why would your father be working with the elusive man? Especially now. My father is ruthless about preserving his legacy. Legacy? He has an obsession with making his mark in history. Ensuring his dynasty lasts forever. And you think the elusive man made him an offer? Exactly. Whatever's going on with your father can't be good. We have to figure this out. I agree, but... I need to do this myself. It's time I stopped running from him. You're sure? Yes. I can't think straight until I know Ari is safe. You'll find her. I know you will. Okay. I better get going. Be careful. I can't promise that, Shepard. Could you? No. I couldn't.
Heavy losses are mounting as human colonies Elysium, Tip Tree, and Zeus Hall are hit. Spectre status recognized. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. Hey, Shepard. I'm glad to see you. I know things are crazy right now. Exactly. So you have to take the moments when you can. So what's going on with you? You still like what you're doing? Things are good. I'm good. Still not tempted to come back to the Normandy? Always tempted, Shepard. <laughs> but no. So, you working on the Crucible? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm smart. But not that smart. Hackett keeps me busy, though. How's he doing? Holding up. If they make old guys any tougher than that, I'd like to see it. It was interesting to meet Brynn. How is she? She's great, actually. It's good to see her work without the distraction of having to worry about the colony. And you and her? We're... We're having a baby, Shepard. Wow. Congratulations. Wasn't exactly planned, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna be a better father than mine was. Do the whole thing right. It's, uh... <laughs> One more thing to fight for. You got that right. Bryn wants to name it after you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Shepard. That's... nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna talk her out of it. No offense. <laughs> None take. Good. What's going on with the Crucible? That project is crazy. Freaking huge. And all these brilliant minds are working night and day trying to figure it out. I wish you could see them. Heads down, piecing it together. It's something to see. We'll get this Crucible built, Shepard. And then, we'll win this thing. I feel it. Do you feel it? Yeah, sure, I feel it. And I'm counting on you and everyone there. Get it done. Believe it. I'm glad we had time to talk. Me too. Gotta take the moments when you can. So true. And Shepard, thanks again for getting my people out alive. Take care, Jacob. You too, Shepard. I'm thinking about you out there. Stay safe. Welcome to Serta. Thank you for shopping. Knowles, this is Shepard. I found one of the code locations. Okay, I'll shut it down. Just need to authorize your Spectre status. Someone used this to cut off power to a dozen life support machines in the hospital. Okay, that access code is officially disabled. Can you find any more? Some kind of poison. Tailored to Turians. Some kind of poison. Tailored to Turians. Cerberus forces from killing the council. Any available amino dexterous blood donors, please report to testing. No replacement has been selected. Recognized. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. Welcome to Kanala Exports. We appreciate your visit. Welcome to Elkos Combine Arsenal Supplies. Thank you. Come again. I think I know which project you mean, 
And I've got a Hesperia period statue in Bay D-24. Commander Shepard, that's excellent news. I'll have it sent to that project right away. Thank you so much for your help. for us to get more medical supplies. I told you already, we have nothing to spare. We're willing to pay. It's not about payment. Between the war on Palavan and the coup attempt here, supplies are short. If my people don't get more antibiotics and Metagel, thousands of us will die. Then maybe you picked a bad time to start a war with the Geth. There has to be some way for us to get more medical supplies. Tally saved the Citadel a couple of years ago. Watch your tone. You're right. We're all on edge right now, but we don't have enough Metagel for our own needs. We can't help your people right now. I'm sorry. Damn it. Thank you for trying to help. Advanced heating unit stabilizers? I guess it's cold enough here. Forces have attacked civilians on Benning. The Alliance has deployed units to defend the refugees. Welcome to Agor Munitions. Thank you for shopping at Agor. Welcome to Cipertine Armory. Munitions. Thank you for shopping at Cipertine Armory. Credits don't talk with me, Commander. CSEC wants my top of the line. You gotta come through with a couple of artifacts. After obtaining a cure to the genophage, Trogan leaders have... You sure you don't want to do something a little more exciting? I love this part of the Presidium. It reminds me of where I grew up. Where's that? Armali, back on Thessia. My mother and I lived beside a park. I spent hours there. Doing what? <laughs> Reading, exploring, getting in trouble digging for ruins in the grass. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding. I was very young. Yeah, that's actually pretty cute. No one else thought it was funny. Oh, the lecture my mother gave me. But she did buy me my first history book the next day. I miss her, Shepard. What was she like? She was confident and kind. She loved to wear yellow. I thought she was the most beautiful woman in the world. You'll be okay, Liara. Maybe you're right. Thank you, Shepard. I feel better. I wish we could spend more time together like this. Just friends. And it'd be nice. And who knows? Maybe you'll settle down after this. You don't really see me going into civilian life, do you? No. But I guess that's one more reason we should keep in touch. Someone to share a few secrets with now and then? You got it. Hello, Shepard. Welcome to Nosostra Sporting Goods. Good hunting. Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. For the best in the business, come to Casa. Proceeds from all purchases go to help our men and women serving in the Alliance. All 
All goods have been marked down with our special wartime discount. Thank you for discount. shopping at Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Surprise this place can still get supplies for a menu like this. Maybe it's better if we don't ask how. Or where. I'm glad we're taking the time to do this. I could use a sanity check. Things have been pretty crazy. You know, my life flashed in front of my eyes on Mars. And there weren't enough moments like this with people I care about. How are you feeling these days? Feeling up to whatever the Reapers throw at me. And grateful that I convinced you to sit down for half a second and relax. Yeah. I think it's a good time for us to have a heart-to-heart. -heart. What are you drinking? <laughs> if you're trying to butter me up, it might take a nice steak sandwich, too. So? Shot of whiskey and a good old Canadian lager. Think they have it? More likely to have Batarian shard wine. At my parents' place in Vancouver? <laughs> Drank more than a few beers on their balcony, looking over English Bay. Yeah. Beautiful view. You know what, though? I feel good about our chances. Yeah? Yeah. Let's me sleep better at night. You're not sleeping, Caden? Maybe a little restless. It's just... You plan a career, you focus, and then... Suddenly the world's ending, and it's too late to, uh... To find someone. Someone? We've been friends a long time, Shepard. Have you ever known me to be with anyone? I, mean, I guess I'm just choosy or patient or... <sighs> I don't know. Maybe what I've never found and what I want is something deeper with someone that I already care about. <sighs> that's what I want. What do you want? I'm sorry, Caden, but we should just keep it professional. Sure thing. No problem. I... I understand. But... Okay, look. I just want you to know... that I consider you a friend. Okay? A good one. Damn, this is way less awkward in my mind. Mostly, I guess I just wanted you to know... that I admire you as a commander. And I value your friendship. You're my brother, Caden. I'm glad to be part of the crew. What'd you call it? A uh, sanity check? Mm. Sanity check. A joint Turian Krogan force has landed on a ruin in an again. attempt to retake the whole home world from Reaper forces. Status recognized. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at docking bay D24. Shepard, glad you came. What'd you have in mind? Something that doesn't involve fighting Reapers. I don't think they've conquered the bar yet. I already scoped it out. Then I thought, if this was my last day alive, I'd actually like to remember it. So? So, I had an idea. Where are we going? Somewhere we're not supposed to. <laughs> Some things never change, do they? Ever have that one thing you always wanted to do before you died, Shepard? Too busy trying to live. What's yours? The whole time I worked at CSEC, I'd stare up at the top of the Presidium and say to myself, I want to go up there. But I never did. There were 137 regulations telling me I couldn't. So you got them changed? No. Now I just don't give a damn.
figured it's time to do something stupid just for the hell of it. Might be the last chance we ever get. A little busier than I imagined. How about a dive in the pool? Uh, you obviously haven't seen Turian swim. It's a lot of flailing and splashing interrupted by occasional bouts of drowning. You're right. I just have to save your ass again. It'd make up for all the times I pulled your ass out of the fire. Novaria, Pharos, Ilos. We've had a hell of a ride, haven't we, Shepard? Times like these, you know who your real friends are. They're not the ones running around looking for an escape route. They're the ones who stand at your side through the worst of it. Who never give up on you. I'm lucky I can say I know someone like that. So am I. You're not going to propose marriage now, are you? <laughs> now, before we head back, there is one thing we're going to settle. Once and for all. I'm not saying you don't know how to handle a gun, just saying some of us know how to make it dance. So, let's find out who's really the best shot. There are a few people in the galaxy who've seen me in action, Garrus. They seemed impressed. Yeah, but I've actually seen you dance, Shepard. No comment. All right, Vicarian. You're going down. And don't worry, I loaded it with practice slugs for when you miss. That was an easy one. Let you build up your confidence. Long range, I wrote the book. Nobody alive can do this, not even Commander Shepard. Give me a tough one. I said a tough one. Step aside. Do it. Nobody alive, maybe. But technically, I died. Yeah, well, next time we'll throw in a herd of rampaging clicks, and that's how you separate the rookies from the pros. <laughs>